Hey guys, Parfax here, and today we're doing a video to see if New World fixed the bow, buffed it, what's it like on the PTR? All right, let's get started. All right, first what we're gonna do here is we're gonna look at the patch notes and we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bow. Let's go down here and the bow. We're gonna go over the patch notes, at least pertaining to the bow. And we're gonna talk a little bit about it in my experiences on the PTR with a few of these abilities. So reduced recovery on basic attacks. This is huge. It's basically gonna make it to where, I don't know if this is referring to how fast your bow shoots or if this is referring to the animation after the basic attack, both are fixed. Uh, recovery typically for me means, you know, when something happens, there's a like a global delay. That's what I kind of think of. So you can do more actions uh, after basic attacks quicker, which is which is great. Feels great. Fixed an ability cancels on basic attacks. Uh, this is not the case. This is still in the game, which we're going to show you. I didn't know it was on live, but uh, pretty easy to do here on the PTR. Incre increased projectile radius on all attacks except pen shot. This is great. We're going to show you and kind of go in depth and how big the hitbox was increased. It's pretty nice, and uh, this is probably the biggest change on the PTR. Added cancel windows to weapon readiness animations. That's good. Players can now sprint cancel when lowering the weapon, which is good. Adding missing cancel buffers when lowering your weapon. I believe this means you can dodge roll and stuff like that when your weapon is getting lowered. Poison shot and penetrating shot now use the same fire cancel inputs as rain of arrows. Reduced hip fire startup, recover, startup and recovery and increased movement speed while hip firing from 165 to 225. This is gonna mean a hip fire and maybe something you actually wanna do here in the future. I will show you that here on the PTR. Uh, I think there actually is a case you can use it now. Before you just never used it, it's really bad, but now there might be a case. Then we have some nerfs here. We have reduced hip fire multiplier from 0.8 to 0.6. Honestly, you might read this as a nerf, but it's still a buff because you can hit fire a lot faster and it feels a lot better. So where this is numerically of, a nerf even if you dps parsed it it's probably not the reduced charge shot damage multiplier from 1.7 to 1.5 this is a great change now you might be like parfax it's a great change it's a nerf but it's a great change because look at the next passive reduced charge time and recovery for charge shots this is huge they they decrease this so much way more than the what is that like 15 percent damage you lo you lose this is crazy just just wait we will show it to you it's pretty crazy uh, and then reduce the power of the bow's true aim passive from 30 to 10%. I believe that's the heavy attack passive, uh, but trust me, trust me, trust me, you're not going to need it. So let's swap over to the PTR here and let's start showing you the bow. So first we're going to do the radius check. Uh, so if you know, the bow still does fly basically from like left to right. So the hitbox is almost always bigger to the right. So let's start to the left. On live... If you were to shoot an arrow right here, you would miss. Let's see if it hits now. We do, we hit, so let's move a little bit left. Okay. There we go. So the hitbox is essentially right here, which is so much bigger. If I was to shoot right here, I would 100% miss. I'd probably even miss shooting right here on live. But now we can shoot all the way out here and our arrows just hit more, which is great. Now I mentioned the hip fire change Let's uh, test it, because it's actually pretty good. So, you know, basically nobody hip fires. Now, there might be cases to where if you need to move and kite back, you might want to hip fire. So let's go ahead and you can see here, we can shoot really quickly, actually. You're almost, I don't want to say machine gunning, but you can kite backwards this way. So like, if you're just trying to run, because before we basically had to do, you know, the dodge roll, but there were some dodge roll changes. You're not gonna be able to just dodge roll all the time and you might have to hit fire now do i see myself hit firing all the time probably not as you can see the arrows don't always fly out uh straightest but if you put it on there you can pretty much hit them 100 percent of the time it's gonna be something you use a little bit but maybe not that much but still a good change nonetheless now let's talk about charged attacks so as you can see here look how fast it charges up it is so much faster than on live it's absolutely pretty crazy so you can now actually make builds based on your charge attacks the hitbox is higher the arrows seem to fly a little faster you can see here maybe they're about the same maybe we'll put a video and test it to see and put them side by side to see if the arrow actually flies faster but it feels so much better here on the ptr you can 
you know, shoot above him a little bit now and still hit him. And let's see. And this should hit him right here. Oh, a little bit farther down. So the hitbox is not huge, but definitely not bad. And the charged shots feel great. I was actually using it in PvP. It's something I pretty much never do, but it's kind of like, you know, heavy attacking with the fire staff, the ice gauntlet, etc. The next thing I wanted to talk about is they talk about fixed inability cancels on basic attacks, and this is not the case. So I can show you here. It might take me a couple of tries, but we'll get it here. Nope, missed it. Missed it again. As you can see there, we did a poison shot and a basic attack at the same time. And this is essentially caused by the arrow coming out and there's like an interaction. So all you have to do is hit a, a, an attack. You can do a fully charged heavy or you can do a basic attack. And there's a specific timing where you can actually hit your skill and it'll launch both at the same time. So let's try one more time. It is a little bit delayed here. There you go. There with the penetrating shot. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do, but it is still possible. And uh, probably needs to be fixed. Yeah, because I, I don't think anybody wants that to happen. But so my overall thoughts are on the bow because it feels great. I love playing it. We did PvP arenas and I was smashing people in PvP arenas with it. I was having so much fun. Open world's going to feel better. It, you have less downtime. The only thing that I, there's a couple things I wish they would have fixed. Uh, the rapid fire here still animation locks you, which I don't understand why you can't dodge cancel out of it either. And I just think it's a little bit odd. Hopefully they get that change pretty soon. Um, but other than that, it's been a great change. The PTR has been a lot of fun. The bow feels absolutely amazing. I can't wait to get back on live and continue gearing out my bow character because I've been gearing them out lately, hoping this patch is going to bring just quality of life things. I don't think the bow needed any damage buffs. It got some probably PVE damage buffs or maybe even overall damage buffs because we're just going to be able to hit more targets. You're going to, you know, have the ability to do fully charged heavies a lot more. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait for you guys to have it on live. You want to jump on the PTR, try it out. There are so many different things coming on the PTR. They're going to be coming live. We have a new expedition. We have PVP arenas. I'm going to bring reward track things. There is so much on the PTR. I read out the patch notes on a previous video. You should make sure you check that out. But trust me, it is so much fun. The bow is so much better. And it was just almost all quality of life stuff. There's a few things need fixed, but it's going to be an absolute blast playing the bow now all right guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe hit the notification bell because we have a ton of stuff coming out the ptr has brought uh just a lot of energy for me i was freaking out during the patch notes reading i was like this happened this happened this happened i was going crazy so make sure you watch that video i was super excited super ready and i hope you guys enjoyed all this all this video. I don't know why I said that, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time. Peace.